Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys the my beauty favorites of 2016. But let's just get right through with it. Um, the Sephora Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover. I tend to not remove my makeup when I go to sleep and I know that's really, really bad. But um, once I tried this Sephora makeup remover, it made me want to start removing my makeup and I started doing it. Um, because of this one because the other ones it would like irritate my my skin I, it would it would burn my skin every time you use any type of wipe and any type of remover it would burn my skin my eyes would, would get red and it would I would start like hurting around my eyes and I just didn't like the feeling so I just kind of stopped and then once I woke up I would like kind of just put like any face wash and then that would be it um, but w when I started using that Sephora makeup remover that's when I really started loving and I started looking forward to removing my makeup moving on to concealers I don't know if you guys know this but I have really dark under circles that's kind of like my biggest concern when it comes to makeup finding the best concealers out there because yeah I have like really bad under circles I hate them I think it's probably genetics but um, it has to do with probably not sleeping well enough either let's start with the next dark circle concealer and this is in color medium I got this in medium because when it comes to covering uh, under circles you have to get a salmon color you have to get like this pinkish orangish color so that it could hide that purple this under the eye so it kind of camouflages it and then you could go ahead and put the brightener under your under your concealer a lot of people don't recommend brightening your under eye because obviously you don't want that to be your focus point if you have dark circles but um, I do I love that to be my focus point because I love how um, awake your eyes look and I didn't want to uh, jeopardize not looking like that like just having to use the salmon color as my under eye circle under eye concealer and then just um not have any brightening under that so i started using this color and then um using the brightener like any like highlighter and then it would start working my eyes started like looking and feeling more awake so it's just this really orange color it's really creamy it's really blendable and it does work it does um, last on my skin a long time. Next we're moving on to the Morphe concealer in color beige. So I wanted to get a, a lighter color and then obviously they were sold out like always and I thought okay so I just need another pink or pink salmony color to conceal with and I ended up buying this one which is exactly that. It's this um, like the salmony color. I know everyone probably has this one. Mine doesn't have this because for some reason it stopped um, seeping through. So I just removed it and then all I do is just twist this and then it, the product comes out. But it's the instant, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles Treatment Concealer. I got it in color medium again. All my concealers are always going to be like darker because um, I only have a few that are to illuminate my, my under eye area. But as far as other concealers, I really like them to be darker to really hide those. Um, and it, it it's really good. It's really thick. Um, it but it's it's creamy, so it's really blendable. Cosmetics concealer, and this one's really really good. It it's really really orange, and I love that because it conceals really 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 well. Um, and as far as all the concealers I'm about to show you guys this is by far my favorite one it's creamy it's dewy and it covers amazingly hard candy glamouflage um, in color medium and this is a brightener for me but it's really thick it's supposed to cover tattoos even so it's a heavy duty concealer and it does its job and only costs like six dollars so i really 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 recommend this for anyone who has dark under circles like me you should really get this um next i have the nyx um well this one's in color 02 and this is what i use to brighten my under eye area but i also have the 06 and it's really creamy i feel like it's a really good dupe also for this nars one that I i'm about to show you and i have it in the color custard they really really brighten the area and I also have this Maybelline um, concealer in light in 10 
and these are these two are dupes for the Nars custard so I really recommend that you guys um, go out and purchase these ones next I have the it cosmetics I've used it so much it's it the writing has kind of just um, rubbed off but I got this in neutral medium and again this is a brightener full coverage so I really really recommend you guys to go out and buy this I love this one the Revlon color stay aqua it's this really 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 beautiful color it's um it's mineral makeup but once you put it on your skin it feels like you're putting water like it hydrates your face so much you feel like how cold it is on your skin I really really recommend this I think it's this is like um $12.99 but it says instant hydration with a flawless luminous finish all day wear it does what it claims this is by far my favorite go-to uh powder finish um, favorite eyeliner has got to be the liquid the nyc liquid eyeliner it, it retails for like 2.99 but it's my favorite i know i would prefer a pen like the lorac uh, pro pen um just so it's more convenient but um as far as the consistency and the formula nyc has got to be my favorite formula it's thick it's black it's matte it's um long lasting and it's really precise when you want that sharp eyeliner um this it, every time i use this i get so many compliments like oh my goodness your eyeliner looks really black it looks really sharp how did you get that clean look and it's because of this one this one i get a really sharp line with a lorac pro pen i get a really sharp line but it's not as consistent as filling in that triangle here so i get this really sharp line but this triangle it takes longer because the pen is so thin um, that it just takes longer to fill in. For mascaras, I have the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. It's really good. It's really thick and really, it makes your eyelashes look really thick. And if you have long eyelashes, um, it makes them longer. I like this Tarte Lights um, Camera Lashes because it it thickens your eyelashes or on my on me um it just thickens my eyelashes so it makes them look a little bit thicker i like this nars audacious mascara because it makes your eyelashes longer it doesn't give you any volume but it just lengthens your mascara your eyelashes so much favorite beauty product of all time the reason why I wanted to film this is because of this beauty blender. It's a little bit dirty right now, but it's by far my favorite, favorite, favorite of all time. Your makeup just lasts longer and it's so dewy. Um, I don't know how to, how else to explain it. It's just really, it makes your face um, makeup really, really dewy. Um, it glides, glides on so smooth and it's just, I, I became addicted for a few weeks. I just started using this nonstop. Primer Argan Wear. Uh, oil with coconut water is by far my favorite 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 primer i look forward to doing my makeup also when i'm going to be using this it's just so beautiful um it leaves your face really dewy um with natural oils um not too oily but not too dry it just kind of balances the oils in your skin if that makes sense i really 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 enjoy this if out of all this video you had to purchase any products I would literally just suggest I like this baby skin um, instant pore eraser it's a really good dupe for the Smashbox finish primer it's a really really good dupe I really really recommend this one and I also recommend the master prime um, Maybelline master prime primer um, this is a really good dupe for the urban decay um, pore perfecting complexion primer potion next lip products these three this the NARS um, in Corella. I love this. It's like a true red. I prefer it over the Russian red from MAC or the Ruby Woo. It's just by far my favorite. I also love this bow and arrow from Kat Von D. Um, it's just this really nice nude, perfect brown nude for any occasion. If whenever you do like a makeup look on your eyes and you don't know what liquid lipstick to use you can never go wrong with this one it's just really really good another one that i i love oh from miami fever um lipstick by kathleen lights i just love this color so much i love oranges really love this it's like a burnt orange and it just looks so so beautiful like um 
Nè It's like so so beautiful. It's like a burnt orange. I love it. And I'm not gonna show you eyebrow products because I think it's pretty much basic um, Anastasia products. So I'm not gonna go into that. The So Hollywood Illuminator. If I could only choose one highlighter of all time, it would be the Anastasia one. Um, let's see here. It's just. It, it's just really really beautiful and it's just it complements everyone's skin so so well it's so creamy I think like it leaves more of a smooth finish and a natural finish than even the Becca ones so I really 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 love those ones my four favorite foundations and I'm a foundation girl so it was really hard um, to just choose a few but as far as the best formulas I have found on the market because I have so many foundations. I love foundations, but um, the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation, it's by far my favorite uh, foundation in the whole wide world. If, if there was only one, I would probably have to pick this one because it's full coverage foundation. I like the other formulas for different reasons, but as far as having to cover any undesired areas of my face, this is my ride or die. I have the Light 48 and as far as any drugstore out there product, get the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation. It's a little bit darker on me. I should have gotten the Light 2, but um, I wanted to get the Light 3 because I wanted, again, to have a darker face and then brighten, brighten up this area and probably this area and this area and then just not have to do it as much bronzing. So I really, 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 really recommend this one. Um, I started getting addicted to that one probably since like September through December. And my favorite of all time that are not full coverage is probably the... This one is kind of like a high-end brand. I do apologize, but it was just so good not to put it out there for you guys to to buy it's the perfect matte liquid foundation from dolce gabbana it's just the perfect color it gives you the perfect glow you you're radiant all day like whenever i wore this like before i would never get compliments on my skin but with this one people would tell me like that i looked really healthy um that i just looked really like glowy but natural um that like it looked like i was wearing a makeup it was just like my natural skin being that nice and um this is why i lo love this one it, it lasts all day and it is pricey at eight dollars but um that's why i don't use it a lot <laughs> honestly i would not be showing you guys this if i did not think it was worth it i have other um higher end foundations in my drawer right now but I'm not showing you guys because it, they have not mesmerized me as much as this one has. This foundation is really, really good. It's just the NARS um, Light 6 in color Ceylon. And right now it's too light for me. Um, but during, I think it was like April, it was like the perfect color. I know it's not that cheap. It's an all day luminous weightless foundation. And yes, it does what it claims. It's really lightweight and that's why I like it. 